We are at a little German location. Trenches right in front of us here. And hopefully we'll be able to share some small moments with you here. This is on the Eastern Front and uh, who knows what the soil and ground is hiding. So let's start the hunt and see what we can share with you here today. See if I can show you this, this secondary line of trenches. First one is down there, secondary, and the third up on the ridge and a command post on the top. Even though there are hundreds of trenches, this belongs to kind of like the uh, one of the inner circles of the defense of uh, Berlin. And there's so many diggers here, that's the problem. But there are trenches everywhere and if you're lucky, you can actually find something. Now a bit here. What is that? Oh, are you kidding me? A K98 bayonet right there in is it in holy with the backlight handle there Wow yeah everything is here it is kind of damaged down there is it cut off there I don't believe it look at that I was just about to say there could always be something here and then a battle damaged K98 bayonet. Holy Madonna, what about that? Yes, welcome to the History Hunter. Welcome to our small adventures with the World War II time frame. Today it is me and Eagle Eyes. We are going to try and uh, bring this thing back from the past. In one of our adventures you can see that we find this uh, Mauser K98 um, bayonet still inside there and we now have a mission we have a mission that we want to see if we can uh, restore it get the blade out of the sheath and uh, you can see here there's this beautiful backlight handle we have the uh, piece on the other side as well but it's kind of by itself so this video is all about us trying to bring this back and we really want to get that piece out of here so we can see how the bed looks and if there are any markings or any specific details that we'd like to find so join us and let's find the pass together this side you can see what's been hanging um, the backlight piece we have separate so we're going to do some procedures with it and hopefully we will be able to get it out the main problem will be to separate the uh, blade from um, inside here. I'm not sure whether we'll be able to do that, but we are definitely going to give it our best. So the first thing we're going to do is going to actually going to soak it. Just let it soak in a special solution. So we're going to create that solution right now. We got this little plastic box and uh, we are going to put a special solvent basically a very strong soap. So we're gonna fill it with water first. Yeah, just to cover it. And then we're gonna take a very small amount of that very strong soap in like that. And we're gonna basically just do this. Then it's gonna stay there if you look there, you can see the air coming out. And what we want to achieve is to fully fill the sheet with this liquid so that all the uh, air we get out of it will penetrate and just kind of fill it completely. It will start to uh, work, loosen up all the bits and pieces of metal in there and uh, because this is just the first piece the first part of the work we're going to do something else as we continue on the backlight piece is impossible to do anything special with it's just going to be in the process we're going to hope for the best we could detach this first but i think it will crack more so we're just going to leave that but the main target is to get this 
blade out of the shade and we're going to see how clean we can get it. The next step we're going to do, we're going to use this battery charger to do some electrolysis. We're going to remove rust particles from the item by uh, using electric current flowing from one piece to another piece and then eating off the small particles. So we'll show you how that works. Well, let's show you what's going on here. The uh, bayonet is down there. We put a cable on it. That's going to be the minus. So we have a huge metal bar there. A metal bar, you can see it down there. On this side, we have the solution, which can uh, let the uh, electronic process go on and continue. We have a uh, plus contact and we have a minus. So the plus goes to that piece, yep. On like that, and the minus on the back side goes to this piece here. Onto there. You have to connect it this way here. Let me show you. Like that, so it really connects it. And then, gonna crank up the uh, power supply like that and now it will be a process you can see there will be some bubbling and there will be some bubbling from the hole see that everywhere here it's starting now we have the electrolyzed process I'm gonna see you can see it here it kind of steams and oozes out from the middle and that's what we want and soon the contact will come to the sheet. We will try see if we can remove particles from that as well. And it's just going to stay like that for a few hours. So what's happening is that the rust particles and all of that stuff will go from the minus over to the plus and just clean itself in that way. And it started on the sheet as well. So now you can say there's a complete process. Eagle Eye is blowing it away as you can see it. And this process is going to be working now for a couple of hours and then we'll check it out and see what it kind of looks in that time. All right, keep sizzling away. I'm gonna pull the plug here for a little second. I'm gonna bring it up to the surface and we're gonna use this little brush. Yeah, you can see that it actually starts to really loosen up here now. Yeah, you can see all these pieces coming off on both sides, on the hanger, the handle, but it's definitely going to be in there for a very, very long time still. In the end, we will see if we can get this piece completely cleaned up. So down it goes again, make sure it doesn't touch any of the other pieces there and we hit the button and start up again. So I'm just gonna do a little bit of massaging here with the plastic mallet. You know, the main target here is actually get the blade out of the uh, sheet. It's gonna take a lot of effort, I think. But I'm just gonna massage it like this and hopefully in the end, it will actually come loose. That's what we're hoping for. Loose now? No, not whatsoever. But nevertheless, let's continue this little quest for the past. This area here is getting pretty nice. Just starts to loose off and come off. The only thing we can do is just to let all the rust that we don't need to go away and then in the end we'll see if we can get that apart. It's exciting stuff to be honest, so just loving this. Well, it's been like three and a half hours and it actually starts to look pretty nice. You can see that most of the rust is off here, you can actually see the the little opening in the bottom there you can see this thing in the bottom on the end there and look at that 
it is actually starting to come loose. I can actually move it around a little bit. So what I've done, I've used the uh, plastic mallet and just hit it a little bit around here. Let me show you. Just using this thing here, very gently. Massaging it like that. I know that the sheet will not kind of be in perfect condition. But I want that blade to come out from here. I want to see what the blade looks like under there. So I'm going to have it a little bit longer inside there. And uh, hopefully we'll be able to do this. All right, I give it another little period of banging with a plastic hammer. And I'm hoping, oh yeah. Oh wow, all right, it is actually coming loose. Woohoo, Christmas Eve is here. I was hoping so much that we would accomplish just that. And I'm sharing it with all of you. That is absolutely incredible. I'm actually gonna do this right in front of your eyes. This is the very first time this bayonet from the Second World War lost by a German soldier. Looks very much like a battle damage unit. This backlight piece is here, the other one I have in store. So this thing here has been stuck in here all the way since that second it was dropped or maybe blown away from the soldier who owned it. When the Red Army came storming in on the eastern front. And now let's see if I can do this. Oh my god. It is oh. oh wow. Wow. Oh. It is actually coming out. Oh my god. Oh. Wow. I'm speechless. Holy Madonna. We did it. We did it. I'm ecstatic. <laughs> oh, wow. I was never expecting that we would be able to do this. Oh, wow. Now we can see this blade for the very 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 first time since the soldier the german soldier on the eastern front where the red army came thundering in it was last seen when he dropped it wow i can actually see very nice metal right there oh look at that i'm gonna rinse it like that can you see that Wow, kind of like a little angle on that thing. That was just so cool. See that, the sheet here is coming apart. I was expecting that. I'll try and preserve it as much as possible. But now I'm going to put it in back and um, do a little bit more magic in there. Wow. All right, we are finished with the solution and electricity and I'm actually starting to get really, really pleased. You can see here, this is the shiny edge and it's been sharpened indeed by someone. But look at that. I was hoping that we could find the number here. We might still do it. The sheet is not in that good condition as I was hoping for, but nevertheless, I'm going to do a couple of small tweaks more here, and then we're going to see if we can be able to do something with the missing part that I have. Yeah, it's kind of battle damaged indeed. See how 
the uh, forces of nature works when the corrosion gets behind the backlight thing it's impossible to get it out from there but I'm gonna work a little bit more with this with a special procedure and uh, we'll have a look at it when it's uh, when it's done that is basically what it's all about that's a picture of a Mazda K98 bayonet with the uh, scabbard and the frog basically this is how it was used attached to the Mausa or K98 rifle and then we have come to the end of our little journey and I want to present to you the result and I have to say I'm really really proud of both result and what's going to happen to this bayonet so are you ready to have a look all right let's do just that there you are it is definitely finished and I have to say this was quite a pleasure to do and show and present to you as I said earlier we're not about reading from books adding some beautiful music we are the real deal we go out we search we do the research we travel to locations we find true history and as you're gonna see this is going to be given away to one of my supporters. So I just can't wait for that moment. Um, this is a uh, very special uh, Battle of Berlin finding just east of Berlin and the last days of the war there. And I have to say this thing is so, so interesting both to find, to do the process of restoring and in the end to be able to give it away. I believe it's a M1884-98 model. A total length of uh, the blade is like 251 millimeter. Uh, the grip is in Bakelite. Uh, here at the Ricasa there should have been a number, same on the uh, um, the scabbard but they're not there anymore but it really doesn't matter i love the uh, blade spine it's complete there the fuller looks pretty nice the false edge is undamaged the total point well it's a bit damaged who knows what happened here the true edge is is there it's actually pretty pretty sharp and uh, what can i say what a fantastic finding I made this little display here as I said because it's gonna be a gift I'm gonna give it away to one of my supporters I added a little authentic um, uh, picture there you know these two cartridges were found just around the area where I found the bayonet that is a mouse a K98 cartridge you can see how it's been dented and this is a Soviet Red or Red Army PPSH 41 submachine gun cartridge and it just fits so perfect. The fight was there, the Germans lost it, we know that. The Red Army came in and just drove away the Germans. First, I want to say a massive thank you for all of you watching, you know, commenting, subscribing, sh and, and uh, supporting us. And then I have a lot of faithful Patreon supporters, and uh, I have a motto history will be everywhere and this thing is going to be given away to one of my fantastic faithful uh, patron supporters during a very long time he's up for promotion he's one of my team members and one of my officers and he's going to be promoted he's going to go for from a four star to a five star general and i can't wait to the next giveaway video that is going to be in just a few days to give that to that specific very 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 um, kind person you've done a lot for us this is the least thing we can do this is a one of a kind very unique piece and i know it will have a good home in the long long future with you so check out the giveaway video that's coming up just in a few days and you will see who the lucky owner of this will be other than that, please watch our videos in full, subscribe, comment, share, watch more of our videos, put them on on the lunchtime, check out the ads, do whatever it takes. 
or you can become a patron supporter and you can actually in the future be a lucky winner of a very very special piece from the second world war maybe not this one but there is a lot of stuff coming up so check it out if you want to other than that this little story is coming to an end thank you for joining me it was a pleasure we will definitely meet you all out there in the ne near future keep smiling stay safe and goodbye